How's it going everybody? Today we're going to talk about something that is never covered in these videos as you scope your YouTube channels, nor was it covered very effectively while you were a witness, and that's the subject of sex. It's something that's avoided, yet it's one of the biggest topics in life. I mean, how are we all here, right? <laughs> it's something that's undeniable but hardly ever talked about, at least not in a real way. You know, I used to be so sick of listening to the way the witnesses would talk about something in such a impersonal way that, you know, none of us related to it. We were spoken to like we were in the fifth grade. You know, yes, yet it was something so real that we were dealing with. And I remember being a, a young man, being a teenager, a young adult, and just being filled with these hormones chemicals and so much was going on yet there was no one to talk to you know you're ashamed you feel guilty that you feel a certain way you just you just full of guilt because that's all you would hear is things that would make you feel guilty at the meetings and who do you talk to you know most of your parents weren't real honest about the subject you didn't want to talk maybe to the elders because you were afraid you'd get in trouble you know most of us did a little something something you know and you didn't want to talk to anybody so you kind of stuck you got this real situation that you're dealing with. You, you know, for some of you young ones, you might be a young adult today and it's 2017. I mean, you're dealing with real stuff, yet people are talking to you like you're in the fifth grade. That doesn't work. You need real talk. We need to really talk about what's going on. And this isn't just for young people. This is for all of us. You know, it's not a subject that goes away. Not for most of us anytime soon. So how do you deal with it? Well, first of all, you know, even if you were trying to live an abs abstinent life, and I'm not here to tell you how to live, which way to live, the fact that you judge yourself, and for some of you, you're disfellowship right now, you judge yourself. So many times we're looking at things the wrong way. If we get real about life, and we know that everybody has to deal with this subject, I don't care if you're married, if you're single, what you are, if you're an elder, and if you are disfellowship, those three guys that sat with you, I promise you, two, if not all three of them, struggle with something in their life. Yet they sit there so holy and going to judge you. You know, this is, a part, this is the part of life that people need mentoring. If they want to live a certain way and they're struggling, you need mentoring not to be judged. Not to be judged. You need mentoring on how to handle those things that come up because it's chemical. It's not that you're not repentant or he's not, she's not repentant, he's not repentant because they did this X amount of times. It has nothing to do with it. These are chemicals that are in your body. You don't have chemicals that are making you want to steal, making you want to beat people up, making you want to murder. You know, those things you don't have a inkling to do, but with sex you do. And it's 2017 and if people are going to sit there and judge you, by a, a book that's 2,000 years old, when you're struggling with something in 2017, when you're inundated with these messages, when people don't get married at, women don't get married at 16 years old anymore, if it's not a good idea, guys are not getting married at 20 anymore. So you've got to deal with this somehow. This is the way it used to be. People got married real young. There weren't people being single at 25, 26 years old. It really didn't happen back in the day. People were married and, and had families and children, and they weren't inundated with what we are today. So how do you manage it? You can't, you can't manage something well if you deny it's there. And that's what a lot of people do. You deny that it's there. You act like you're asexual and you're not. So what happens is all that energy goes somewhere and now you're dealing with another problem. Now you, maybe you're addicted to pornography. Maybe you go to strip bars all the time. Maybe you're just doing all these things that give you more guilt because you're not accepting your sexuality. And when you accept your sexuality, you're able to manage it. Again, I'm not here to tell you how to live your life, what's wrong, what's right, but when you accept that it's a part of life, you get in the driver's seat about it and you can stir the wheel, okay? You start to manage it, but when you deny something, then you normally create a problem with that thing. You create an outlet for that thing. You have this longing for a relationship or for a mate that doesn't go away. You obsess about it because you're not accepting that side of yourself. You gotta embrace 
all aspects of you so you can begin to control it. You can't act like it's not there because it is. If it wasn't there, you wouldn't be struggling with it. It wouldn't be in your mind half the time. That's just how we're wired. So when you accept that like, that's a part of life, that's a part of who I am, now you can begin to manage it. As long as you lie to yourself, that energy will go somewhere and rear its head somewhere else and there you go. Not knowing how to manage the chemicals that are in your body, which is natural. Now, a lot of witnesses have hang-ups when it comes to sex, even when they get married. Why? Because they deny, 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 deny that something has any goodness to it. And then suddenly you sign a piece of paper and it's your obligation. Many Jehovah Witness women or ex-Jehovah Witness women have a hard time with the subject still because you are taught that you are just a giver in that regard. You know, you're just uh, rendering your due to your husband. All of this stuff is nonsense. Both men and women are, are sexual creatures. Right? It's not just one side or the other. And, and you end up being very awkward about it. You end up a lot of times not enjoying it. You end up with a complex where you still think you're doing something bad. So it gets very mechanical and, and it becomes a problem in your life. You've got to get rid of all of that stuff and what, whatever way you decide to live your life and again this is not a channel that's here to tell you what to do that's your own journey for you to figure out but for you to handle that subject effectively you must own it you can't deny it you have to own it and when you own it you begin to control it and that's what you want to do don't lie to yourself because as long as you lie to yourself, you'll get in trouble with that. It's a very, very different world that we live in today. We're inundated with messages, with images, with the music, all of this stuff. So it becomes not easy. And for people to sit around and judge you, forgetting what it was like to be a young person in this world. Like I can't imagine being 20 years old in the world today, but it's, it's an issue. And we must learn how to get in touch with all of ourselves and our sexual uh, beings are, are that is part of it you know that is a part of the complete self of your complete self you can't deny that it's there it's not a on and off switch that you can just turn on you know at a certain point in your life you've got to embrace all of you and when you're in touch with all of you then you control all of you some people might misconstrue this and think that i'm saying that um, embracing it means putting it all out there. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when you embrace all of you, when you get in touch with your inner you, and you accept all of you, then you become in control of all of you too. And that's what we want. We want to be in control, in touch, and, you know, to, to have a oneness with our inner self. And if we can do that, then, you know, we start to control our lives a whole lot more than we do when we deny ourselves. So I hope that made some sense. Please join our private Facebook group. Um, the link is below. And we look forward to getting to know all of you. We're having a good time in there. People are connecting, making friends. Would love to have you join us. Take care. See you on the next video.